the United States is expected to deploy almost half of its aircraft carriers in the Western Pacific this year, as military tensions continue to rise over North Korea's nuclear ambitions and China's territorial claims. Three U.S. aircraft carriers from the 11th Strong Fleet are already in the region, with two more on the way, an unprecedented number intended as a strong signal of deterrence, reported the South China Morning Post SCMP. The USS Abraham Lincoln was spotted earlier this month leaving its home port in San Diego, California, and heading towards the Western Pacific, according to the U.S. Naval Institute's Fleet and Marine Tracker. The U.S. Navy has also confirmed the USS George Washington will return this year to Japan, where he will replace the USS Ronald Reagan as the centerpiece of the U.S. 7th Fleet's carrier strike group. Last month, the USS Carl Vinson joined South Korea and Japan in conducting perhaps their biggest ever combined naval exercises in an act of saber rattling towards nuclear-armed North Korea. The Carl Vinson strike group also joined the USS Theodore Roosevelt in a multi-large deck drill with Japan in the Philippine Sea that included a test of air warfare operations. Over the past year, there have been multiple confrontations between Beijing and Manila over territorial disputes. Deploying the most visible assets in the military sent a very clear signal to adversaries. Brian Hart, a fellow with the China Power Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, told the SCMP. Given the war in Ukraine, the conflict in the Middle East, and the Houthi attacks in the Red Sea, the U.S. military wants to signal that it can handle those situations while remaining focused on the priority theater, which is the Indo-Pacific. He added. According to the newly released Military Balance Report from the International Institute for Strategic Studies, Western states are trying to balance their focus on the war in Ukraine with their largely trade-driven strategic interests in Asia. The UK intends to return an aircraft carrier battle group to the Indo-Pacific in 2025, and Germany has announced it will send two warships to the region in 2024. China is also ramping up its naval capabilities and over the next couple of years, the People's Liberation Army Navy will undertake intensive trials of its third and most advanced aircraft carrier, the Fujian Type 003.